Yo! What is up, Winnikane? The dynamic duo is back on desk. Sadly, man, this is going to be short-lived, but this episode is strictly seniors. Our last episode of Winnikane Television. This year has honestly flown by. Not even this year, dude. Like, all of high school. Yeah, it feels like just yesterday I was getting swirlies in the E-wing bathroom. Shane, that was me giving you swirlies. The only thing I ever got in there was secondhand smoke. Joke's on you, because that was me in the middle stall. Wow. Classic Winnikane memories. Yo, I know you got a story on that ish. I do, but I'm not ready to leave desk yet. Our time is up, man. We gotta move on to the story. Fine, man. It's been real, Winnikane. Bon voyage. <laughs> <laughs> Seniors, this is our last day of going to Winnikane. It was a long journey, but we made it here. I went around and asked seniors what their most memorable moments of Winnikane are. I think it was freshman year, maybe sophomore year. I used to go to the b-ball games, little sophomore Luke. And I used to watch Alec Boucher jam, and that was sick, watching people dunk back then. I thought it was insane. That throws it down! Four point eight! Um, probably Matt Joukowsky and Alex McAllister's rap battle. My favorite memory from high school is probably the rap battle. The rap battle. Yes, this is a battle, and yes, you planned it. My rhyme swing and punch is kind of like a hand. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Um, my favorite memory in the past four years was definitely winning states with my field hockey team. So even though I've only been here for a year, my favorite part of this year is that I made a lot of friends that I'm going to keep for life and forever, and I'm going to come back and they're going to come visit my friends. Okay, so my favorite memory is winning states for cross country um, my sophomore year, and the cookies in the dining hall because I was really looking good. I'd probably say my favorite memory um, it was the Exeter game last year, uh, even though we lost, it was a great game, um, and I enjoyed it. The part where I left for six months. Freshman year in senior across the Spanish class, he asked Rachel LaRoche what time it was, and she answered saying that she had two sisters. My favorite memory in Winnicunna is freshman year when Dustin ran through the halls with a blowhorn. My favorite WHS memory throughout the years is when Kenny Doyle shoved a pie in Tegan Evans' face. My favorite memory is making new friends and being with other people and stuff. I'm going to miss you guys and, it'll, and have a fun journey around the state. I hope you guys will remember Winnicunna for the great memories that we had here. I wish the best of luck to you in your lives after Winnicunna. And for the last time, for WHDV, this is Griffin Brunette. Those are some really great memories, and I'm sure we'll be making even more when we head off to college. Without a doubt. Hey, Alia, where are you going to school? I'm actually headed to the University of Tampa, so I can have this weather all year long. Where are you guys going? I'll be at Northern Essex. It's going to be nice to have a change in scenery next year. I'm going to your mom university. <laughs> Just kidding, but I actually am going to Southern New Hampshire University. I just can't believe that our time here at Winnicunit is already up. I know, it's surreal. And for you guys, here's a look at where some of the other seniors are going to be attending next year. We wish you guys the best of luck with whatever you decide to pursue, and never forget to let the good times roll. So long, 216. As 2016 looks forward to the end of their high school careers, they begin to think about their future. A popular destination for a lot of Winnicunit seniors is college, of which 69.2% of high school graduates attend. Me and Ivy decided to take a look at what some seniors were doing after high school. UNH. I'm pursuing my music career. UNH Paul School. Uh, Norwich University in Vermont. I'm Ben and I'm going to the University of Vermont. Oh, I'm going to Plymouth State University next year. I'm studying criminal justice. Right. I'm going to Plymouth State. So I'm going to Massachusetts College of Pharmacy, which is in Boston, and I'm doing a six-year doctorate program to be a pharmacist. So usually it's eight years in another school, you have to do four, and then you do four more to get your doctorate, but it's an accelerated program, so it's only six. So I'll come out Dr. Yuli. I hope to um, work in a uh, hospital setting, so being like going around with doctors and um, specifically picking medication for patients not in a CVS. <laughs> Maybe when I'm like an old lady, I'll retire and work at a Walgreens or something, but um, for 
a while, I want to be in a hospital. I'm really excited for all of the free things we get to do at Mass College of Pharmacy. Since it's a um, medical school, there's a lot of training that people need. So for sonography students, they have to um, screen people's organs and everything. So we could go in on random days and I could just get like my liver screened for fun. I'm going to St. Joseph's University in Philadelphia. I'm Kayla and I'm going to UMass Amherst. I'm going to Bates College in Lewiston, Maine. Ooh, I'm going to St. Louis University in St. Louis, Missouri. And I'm going to Boston College. I'm Griffin O'Brien. Next year I'm going to Salve Regina University in Newport, Rhode Island. Um, I'm most excited. It's right on the water, so I'm pretty excited to like sit on the beach, <laughs> to be honest. Go out on uh, some boats and it's pretty pretty wealthy area so I mean it should be should be a good time down there. Um, I'm studying anthropology and sociology and I got introduced because it's just like such a nice area. It's a pretty small school not a lot of people know about it which I kind of wanted and uh, yeah. Best of luck to seniors in your future endeavors. For WHTV, Ivy and Adel. Good afternoon Winnicunit. I'm Emily. And I'm Mike. And it's our last time here on the Winnicunit television desk. Can you guys keep it down? trying to sleep. Kenny, where'd you come from? No time for that. I'll tell you what though, there's some graphic things under that desk. Someone's got to clean that up. Anyway, this is our last episode ever. We'll be out of school before anyone else. I'm gonna cry, man. I wanted to do best dress for last time on desk, but Kenny, you didn't get the memo. No, I actually stopped receiving memos a long time ago, but next time I'm in 1999, I'll check my fax machine. I can't believe it's our last day of WHTV ever. It's all happened so fast. From New Year's to the beach, Mike, we've done it all. Yes, we have. Next up is Sophia's story, where us seniors reflect on our time in WHTV. So it's not goodbye, Winnicott. Actually, this is goodbye, Mike. Bye, y'all. For many, Winnicott High School has been an atmosphere where students can find their passions and follow them, creating an environment where they can grow and blossom. For a few seniors, they found their place in WHTV. As the end of the year approaches, some things will end and some new things will begin. We asked some of the seniors to reflect upon their times in this WHTV room. Ryan Welch was in WHTV and he took off his shirt and slid across the big blue table that is in the, like, the main area. Me and Alia had gone to the Poetry Slam to do a story and while it was extremely quiet, Alia let out some gas and you could hear it on the clip it was just so funny. <laughs> Last year when me, Cree Tyler and Brian Otto we'd always try and touch our heads onto the ceiling tile. Griffin and Shane when they did their desk. Being on desk here with Shane because I think we laughed for probably like 10 minutes straight. I'm gonna miss just being able to come in here and do work if I want to, uh, not do work if I don't want to, uh, and just being able to hang out. Other classes are such strict, dead, like, not deadlines, I guess, because we have strict deadlines here, but there's such strict curriculum that you have to follow. And here, you have a lot of freedom to do what you want, the stories that you want about. I'll miss D-Rob and just like the, like how well everybody in here kind of just like works together. And I really love like the feel of the class, like you walk in and it's, just every, like, there's no other class where, like, everybody's talking to each other and everybody's kind of interacting with everybody. Like, usually in most classes, like, you have, like, two or three people you talk to and, like, you kind of avoid everybody else. But in this one, like, it just starts out and everybody's at the table together eating and they're all, everybody's hanging out and then it just kind of dissolves from there. And it's, it's probably the most connected class that I've ever been in in high school. I'm going to miss the atmosphere and coming into class. I'm going to miss it a lot. Derek Roberts, the man who teaches this class, has touched the lives of many. We asked the seniors if they had anything to say to D-Rob. Sorry. <laughs> I will miss D-Rob more than anything out of Winnicott. He has always been there for me. Thank you for being so lenient with deadlines. I'm sure that I would have ran into copyright problems in creating stuff in the future if it wasn't for D-Rob, so thanks for letting me know about the copyright stuff, D-Rob. Thank you, D-Rob, for like just helping us with whatever problems we have. Honestly, you're one of the best people I've come to know. It's been an incredible four years and thanks for putting up with me. I've had a ball. Thank you, D-Rob, for being the swag god that you are. 
Thank you for believing in me when I was first in WHTV and I didn't do anything. Um, I haven't really known D-Rob for that long, but he actually let me skip over like a whole level level of WHTV. I didn't take the prerequisite, but he knew that I wanted to like go into journalism, and he's helped me a lot. It seems every year we have seniors and they finally get old enough to leave and escape Winnicunit, and it's always a sad time. I get to know them so well, you know, over usually sometimes four years, maybe three years. It's, it's so different from another class where they come in for a trimester, then they leave, and then you don't see them again, or you might wave to them in the hallway. Some of these students I see every day, day in, day out. I may see them more than their family, because um, they start to kind of like do other stuff outside of school. So uh, some people have actually talked about WHTV group as keep being kind of family-like, and I think that's true, which places me, I guess, as the dad figure. It's going to be sad to see the kids go off to college or wherever they're going to head to. I think they've done a fantastic job over the last couple of years, and I'm really proud of them. I can't believe we are graduating next week. It feels like just yesterday we were freshmen. I know, it's crazy how high school flew by. Last week, Patrick and I looked back at some old WHTV stories and thought you guys, especially the seniors, would like to see them. I can't wait. This is it for us, Winnicunit. Kind of, we'll see you around. Bye. The class of 2016 has seen a lot happen over the past four years. Patrick and I took a look back at some of the major things that have happened in the seniors' first year or two here at Winnicunit. Orange Leaf opens in Newburyport, creating a frozen yogurt fad. Pearson here in downtown Newburyport, where we're going to get a bite, just a bite, a frozen yogurt at Orange Leaf. The Coney 2012 movement sought to make people around the world aware of the crimes of Joseph Coney. Coney is still free today. Time is running out. To level with you, this movie expires on December 31st, 2012. And its only purpose is to stop the rebel group, the LRA, and their leader, Joseph Coney. And I'm about to tell you exactly how we're going to do it. President Barack Obama was elected for his second term in November of 2012. The belief that while each of us will pursue our own individual dreams, we are an American family and we rise or fall together as one nation and as one people. The football team beat Exeter for the last time in the past three years and moves on to win the Division II state championship. Schedule changed from a five block schedule to the six blocks we have today, and Warrior Block was added. Hey Winnicana, as you may or may not know, the school is changing to a six block schedule. Also in preparation to the schedule, Winnicana will be having a 15 to 30 minute Warrior Block that will address SSR and other student needs. The first of 5,000 stories to come of Max Jensen was made. I started with some contests up in Vermont where I grew up. The rim opened in late 2013. All volleyball courts for kids of all ages. The rim is located at 311 Winnicunit Road. Our sophomore year, the girls cross country team won states for the first time in years. Field hockey wins states against Pinkerton two years in a row. Thanks for a great four years, Winnicunit. This is Patrick and Maggie signing out. For one last time, Winnicunit, hello. I hope by now you know that I'm Rick and that's Mick. I would say something sad and sentimental, but the sentiment and the sadness of this situation is just overwhelming. I hope you'll miss seeing this much mass on the WHTV desk as much as we will miss providing that mass. I've had a lot of good memories in this place. Me too, Mike. I'm going to miss the freedom of WHTV, 
and most importantly, Mr. Derek. Oh, Mr. Derek, he's really helped us out over the years, and I don't think I can ever really put into words what he means to not only me, but everybody who his teaching tentacles have reached out and touched. I don't know how to respond to that, so. You know, that's okay, because much like our high school careers, the show is over. Winnicunna is the egg, and our future is the ocean, and we're just sea turtles walking to the shore. Thank you for a great trip, Winnicunna. It's been pretty okay. And for the last time, for WHTV, I'm Mike. And I'm R. Kelly, signing out. <laughs>